Your government isn't telling you the whole truth about what's heading toward Earth right now. While you've been focused on everyday concerns, your job, your family, your future, something has entered our solar system that could render all of those worries completely irrelevant. 3i Atlas isn't just another space rock making headlines. This object is displaying behavior that violates everything we understand about physics, following a trajectory so impossibly precise that it suggests deliberate control. The most unsettling part? It's generating its own light, something that should be physically impossible for any natural object. Harvard scientists are now openly stating what they previously whispered in private. We may be witnessing active surveillance of Earth by an intelligence that has been watching us far longer than we realize. The decisions made about 3i Atlas in the coming months won't just affect astronomy textbooks. They could determine whether humanity faces this reality prepared or defenseless. The story of 3i Atlas has been unfolding across news headlines and scientific journals for months now. Most people have dismissed it as another distant space curiosity, something fascinating but ultimately irrelevant to the pressing concerns of everyday life. Yet beneath the surface of this cosmic visitor lies a reality that could fundamentally alter the trajectory of human civilization. This isn't merely an academic exercise for astronomers peering through telescopes. The true nature of 3i Atlas carries implications that reach into every aspect of human existence, from national security protocols to the future that awaits the next generation. The decisions being made in observatories and government facilities around the world regarding this object may well determine whether humanity enters a new era prepared for contact or remains blindly vulnerable to forces beyond current comprehension. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile detected an object that immediately broke every rule scientists have established for how things move through space. The facts are undeniable. This object is traveling at approximately 81,000 miles per hour relative to the Sun. Its orbital eccentricity is well above 1.0, which means it's not gravitationally bound to our solar system, it's just passing through. But the path it's taking through our neighborhood is so precisely aligned with our planetary orbits that the statistical probability of this happening by chance is roughly 1 in 20,000. To understand why this matters, consider how regular comets in our solar system behave according to well-established patterns. When a typical comet approaches the Sun, it follows predictable physics. Halley's Comet, for example, gets no closer than about 55 million miles from the Sun during its 76-year orbit. As it approaches, solar radiation heats the frozen gases and water ice on its surface, causing them to sublimate. That's when a solid turns directly into gas without becoming liquid first. This creates the characteristic coma, that fuzzy envelope around the nucleus, and the spectacular tail that always points away from the Sun due to solar wind pressure. The dust production rate for a typical comet ranges from a few pounds to several tons per second, depending on its size and distance from the Sun. The gas ejection velocities usually fall between 650 to 6,500 feet per second. These are well-established patterns observed in thousands of comets over centuries. But 3i Atlas is different in ways that are genuinely puzzling. First, there's the size question. Based on its brightness and assuming it's simply reflecting sunlight like a normal space rock, 3i Atlas would need to be roughly 12 miles in diameter. To understand just how massive this would be, imagine an object larger than the entire Disney World Resort, including all four theme parks, hotels, and surrounding areas, hurtling through the void between stars. Halley's Comet measures only about 9 miles long and 5 miles wide. Comet Hale-Bopp, which captivated millions when it blazed across Earth's skies in 1997, has a nucleus about 25 miles across. The mathematical reality is stark. Finding a 12-mile-wide interstellar asteroid drifting through the cosmic wilderness is statistically almost impossible. Avi Loeb from Harvard has run the calculations, and they reveal a sobering truth. The limited reservoir of rocky material scattered throughout interstellar space could only deliver such a massive object to our solar system perhaps once every 10,000 years or longer. But what if the fundamental assumption is wrong? What if 3i Atlas isn't reflecting sunlight at all? What if it's generating its own illumination? This is where the story takes a dramatic turn. Recent analysis by Loeb and his colleague Eric Quito 
suggests that the brightness profile they're observing is consistent with self-luminous emission rather than reflected solar radiation. If this is true, the object could be dramatically smaller, potentially just hundreds of yards across rather than miles. In nature, very few mechanisms can cause a space object to produce its own light. Radioactive decay from heavy elements could create a glow, but finding enough radioactive material in interstellar space would be extraordinarily unlikely. Thermal emission from internal heat sources is another option, but maintaining those temperatures would require an ongoing energy source. Or, and this is where things get genuinely unsettling, the illumination could be artificial. The trajectory evidence builds an increasingly compelling case for something unusual. 3i Atlas is traveling on what's called a retrograde orbit. It's moving in the opposite direction to most objects in our solar system. Its orbital plane is tilted only about 3 degrees from the ecliptic. That's the flat plane where Earth and most planets orbit around the Sun. The probability of this alignment happening by random chance? About 0.2%, but the pattern becomes even more intriguing. This object made remarkably close approaches to multiple planets. It passed within about 18 million miles of Mars on October 3, 2025. For comparison, that's closer than Mars ever gets to Earth during its closest approaches, which happen about every 26 months and bring the planets within roughly 35 million miles of each other. On October 29th, 3 I Atlas reached Perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, at about 126 million miles out. That's between the orbits of Earth and Mars. Then in December 2025, it will pass within about 105 million miles of Earth. Finally, in March 2026, it will swing within 20 million miles of Jupiter. When astronomers calculate the combined probability of a random interstellar object making such close approaches to four major bodies in our solar system system, they get odds of approximately 0.005%. That's one chance in 20,000. Another detail raises serious questions. 3. I Atlas reached its closest approach to the Sun when Earth was positioned on the opposite side of our star. Ground-based telescopes literally couldn't observe it during this critical phase because of solar glare. If someone were designing a spacecraft to conduct operations while avoiding detection from Earth-based telescopes, this timing would be absolutely perfect. Loeb calls this a potential reverse solar Oberth maneuver a high-thrust braking strategy that could allow an interstellar craft to slow down and potentially remain bound to our solar system. The fact that this maneuver was completely hidden from Earth's view is either an incredible coincidence or evidence of deliberate planning. However, the mainstream scientific community maintains a different position. The majority of astronomers studying 3i Atlas believe it's a natural interstellar comet, and they have solid evidence supporting this interpretation. Spectroscopic observations from the Gemini South Telescope and NASA's Infrared Telescope Facility have detected strong water ice signatures mixed with carbon-rich minerals and silicates. This water appears to be chemically pristine, lacking the heavy isotopic fingerprints typically found in comets formed inside our solar system. What makes this significant? This water could have frozen into the comet as far back as 7 billion years ago, well before Earth existed. Scientists are potentially looking at pristine samples from another star's protoplanetary disk, offering direct evidence of how planetary systems form elsewhere in the galaxy. The Hubble Space Telescope has captured images showing clear signs of cometary activity. There's a visible coma surrounding the nucleus, and Hubble has detected what appears to be dust jets being ejected from the sun-facing side. The dust production rate they've measured, between 13 to 130 pounds per second, falls within the expected range for normal cometary activity. Moreover, astronomers haven't yet detected the volatile gases like cyanogen or diatomic carbon that typically appear when comets get closer to the Sun. But 3i Atlas was still about 4 astronomical units from the Sun during most observations. That's roughly 372 million miles out, about Jupiter's distance. Most comets don't start showing strong gas emissions until they get much closer and solar heating really intensifies. So, why does this matter? Why do humans need to know what 3i Atlas really is? The answer goes to the heart of one of the most fundamental questions humanity can ask. Are we alone in the universe? If 3i Atlas is indeed a natural comet, it's still teaching scientists incredible things about planetary formation processes in other stellar systems. 
that ancient water ice is providing direct samples of conditions that existed when alien worlds were forming billions of years ago. It's like having a time capsule from another star delivered directly to our doorstep. But if the artificial hypothesis proves correct, humanity is looking at the most significant discovery in its history. Proof that interstellar travel is possible, and that some civilization has mastered it well enough to send probes across the vast distances between stars. Consider what this would mean. Any civilization capable of interstellar exploration would necessarily be far more technologically advanced than current human capabilities. They would have solved problems of energy generation, propulsion, and long-duration space travel that Earth's scientists are still struggling with. The implications for understanding physics, engineering, and humanity's own technological future would be profound. There's also the question of intent. If 3i Atlas is indeed an artificial probe, what is its mission? The trajectory suggests it's designed to observe multiple planets in our solar system while minimizing detection from Earth. This could be passive scientific observation, the kind of thing humans might do if they had the technology to send probes to other star systems. But it could also represent something more concerning. The dark forest hypothesis, popularized by science fiction but rooted in serious scientific speculation, suggests that advanced civilizations might remain hidden because the universe contains predatory species that eliminate potential competitors. If humanity is being observed, there's a need to understand whether that observation is benign or represents a threat assessment. Now addressing the question many are probably asking, will we be able to see 3i Atlas? The answer depends on when and where one is looking. During its closest approach to Earth in December 2025, 3i Atlas will be about 105 million miles away. That's still too far for naked eye visibility. Observers would need at least a moderate-sized telescope to spot it. For comparison, Comet Hale-Bopp was visible to the naked eye because it came within about 120 million miles of Earth and had much more active dust and gas production that created a bright, visible tail. 3i Atlas appears to have a much lower dust production rate than typical bright comets, which means it won't develop the spectacular tail that makes comets easily visible. Professional observatories with large telescopes and sensitive cameras will continue tracking it, but for most amateur astronomers, it will remain a challenging target requiring at least an 8-inch telescope and dark skies. The James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble will continue monitoring 3i Atlas throughout its passage, potentially revealing unprecedented details about its composition and behavior. Ground-based observatories like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory will also track its progress as it eventually leaves our solar system. But here's what's really exciting about the future. The Rubin Observatory is expected to detect dozens of interstellar objects annually once it reaches full operational capacity. Humanity is transitioning from a world where these visitors are rare, once-in-a-decade events to having a steady stream of data about objects from other star systems. This means that within the next decade, scientists will have hundreds of interstellar visitors to study. They'll finally be able to establish what constitutes normal behavior for these objects and what represents truly anomalous activity. If 3i Atlas is indeed artificial, researchers should start seeing patterns in the data that natural objects simply wouldn't display. The implications extend far beyond astronomy. If even one of these visitors proves to be artificial, it would fundamentally change how humanity views its place in the universe. It would mean that interstellar civilizations exist, that they have the technology for long-range exploration, and that our solar system is of sufficient interest to warrant investigation. So why do humans need to know what 3i Atlas really is? Because the answer will determine whether humanity is looking at the oldest messenger from another star system, carrying secrets about how worlds form across the galaxy, or whether we're witnessing first contact with intelligence beyond Earth. The next few months will be crucial. As 3i Atlas continues its journey through our solar system, our most powerful telescopes will be gathering data that could answer one of the most profound questions in science. Whether it's a natural relic from the dawn of another planetary system, or evidence of visitation by another civilization, this object represents a pivotal moment in human understanding. 
Humanity is living through a time when the universe is revealing its secrets at an unprecedented pace. 3i Atlas is just the latest reminder that the cosmos is far stranger and more wonderful than ever imagined. The truth about what it really is could change everything we think we know about life, intelligence, and our cosmic neighborhood. The universe is vast, full of mysteries, and 3i Atlas is proving that we're only beginning to understand what's possible out there. Whether it brings us ancient wisdom from another world, or proof that we're not alone, this visitor is about to teach us something profound about our place in the galaxy. If 3i Atlas really is more than just a comet, it could change everything we know about our solar system. What do you think? Natural visitor or something else entirely? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's start the discussion. And if you want to stay ahead of the biggest discoveries shaping our future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got even bigger space secrets coming your way.